Alright guys, here it is, the Great Ones review of the Jelly Bean running on the Galaxy Nexus. Um, first thing you'll notice is this little uh, visualization that pops up when you turn on the log screen. Let me do it again. It's a perforated mark that just kind of outlines instead of the three little lines that, that would move around. Um, what else is there? Oh, the first thing you see when you grab the lock button, you, you notice that these little perforated dots start to follow you around. Um, the other thing you can do, it's pretty neat, you can go right to Google from the lock screen itself. So if I were to launch that, it loads up Google, and the new little feature here with Google is it, it shows up as cards, which is pretty neat. So if I want to Google something, it's actually a lot like Siri. It'll actually respond to you. Let me see here. What is the weather? It's 90 degrees and clear at Wilmington. Here's the forecast for the next few days. So that's a nice little feature. It's... Like I said, it's becoming more and more like Siri and more user-friendly, in my opinion. Um, another cool feature on the home screen is this little widget thing. So if I were to move these widgets around, um, they'll actually, you know, before you'd get a little red, red X, that, oh, you can't put that here, and it'd be a pain in the ass to try to, you know, move, move all your home screens around just to fit a widget. So you can actually drag it anywhere you'd like and drop it there, and other icons will move around it. Um, what else? The, the Google, the top bar on the Google, um, is, it's gray, it's not completely transparent, so it's a little more noticeable. Um, the notification bar is pretty cool. Um, it gives you like live live notifications if there's traffic somewhere. Um, it gives you the new time, you can get to the settings again. Um, so you get the time, the date. This little, typically says Verizon, but this is a leaked version of you know, ice, uh, not ice cream sandwich, um, jelly bean, so it has some weird numbers there. Um, this little new icon here will get rid of all your notifications. Um, unfortunately, on this leaked version, the camera is actually the same APK file as, you know, ice cream sandwich, so it's, you know, nothing fancy here. Um, but I know they made some improvements around there. The other cool thing is, um, if you hold down the home screen button, you'll be able to Google it right from the home screen, which, you know, you could probably do just typing, you know, up here, but it's just a nice little addition to have feature when you, when you have a hold down. Um, the other thing, ice cream sandwich, the buttons, when you hold the keys down, they light up blue. Um, you'll notice they're like a light and gray on this one. Uh, the one thing I was a little disappointed on was the application toggles, uh, between applications. It, it stays the same. Um, it's not fancy. The one thing I hate when you swipe these actually, it's not killing the application. It's still running. Um, I wish they'd fix that and make it a little bit more pretty. Um, I think that's about it. Um, messaging, Gmail, you know, browser, everything else is the same. You'll notice when you go in between windows though, you get a new animation. So it'll almost, you know, almost like flashcards hide behind the new one and the other one pops up. But if we go to settings, let me show you. See, it almost, it's a different visualization when you toggle between, you know, applications, which is a nice little addition. Um, but that's all I noticed. Um, there it is. Good old Jelly Bean on the Galaxy Nexus. Um, a lot of things, you know, since it's a leaked version, there's a lot of problems, like the, the volume buttons don't work. I mean, you can toggle, you can turn it up and down all you want, but you won't ever hear a notification or an email, so... Definitely going to get rid of this soon and go back to, you know, another ROM, but this is it. Um, Jelly Bean on the Galaxy Nexus.